Now he is 5'9", 180, and a sophomore. He is also the backup field back and back to receive for Spring Grove. Will be Todd Oaks and also number 81, Leighton Wistie. So the split end, Leighton Wistie and Todd Oaks, the quarterback, be back to receive at about their own seven-yard line. Gary Princeton, the young sophomore, set to kick off. And then uh, this interconference playoff game, the second in history. First, last year, I guess, was the first in history, wasn't it, between Wyckoff and Rushford? Well, it was, uh, we've always had the interconference playoff. It's always been Caledonia and La Cresta. I see. On the kickoff, oh. and Leighton Wissey had an open field in front of him, but he slipped down around his 10-yard line. His knee hit the ground, and the referees ruled him down inside his own 10-yard line. So a bad break for the Spring Grove Lions as they start out. Deep in their own territory, inside the 10, and they rule it. At about the 10 yard line, a little tough to see as it's way down to our right. Spring Grove defending the goal to our right and Harvardy the goal to our left. That offensive backfield has Todd Oaks at quarterback. Goldenson and Matson are the halfbacks. They are in the deuce. Leighton Whiskey to the near side and Dave Morgan to the far side as Oaks goes on first and 10. Todd Oaks handoff straight ahead. Pete Masson gets up to the 15, up to the 19 yard line as. Matson tried right side and picked up about nine yards on first down. Uh, the Harmony defense, Harmony defense has uh, Wayne Johnson, a left defensive end, uh, 5'11", 180, the defensive tackle Don Bruce, Bussey at 5'7", 150, nose guard Rick Tremor at 5'5", 170, Rick Hovey at 5'8", 175, and Steve Harm, a defensive end 6'1", 180. They say they only gained three yards on that first play, second down and seven, handoff second man through, that's Goldenson. And he gets close to the 15-yard line, short gain of about two yards. Uh, the defensive linebackers for Harmony are Brad Trailing, Gary Princeton, and Don Barrett. A very good linebackers. I noticed, Tom, that uh, Harmony is playing a straight five right now. So and Paul Goldenson carries on second down, picks up two. It's third down, four yards to go. And they rule it at the 14-yard line. So they have to get to the 18 for the first down. Again, deuce backfield. Oaks going to keep it himself, cuts it up to the 15 and up to the 18 yard line, very close to a first down is he's tackled by Gary Princeton out in the far flat. Yeah, the cornerbacks for Harmony, which are going to take a lot of, a lot of pouting with his rear offense of uh, Spring Groves is uh, Dave Barrett and uh, Dave Hanlon and then the safety Dave Miller. They play him deep now, of course, they're not going to throw deep on Harmony. They really throw back, they get him back there a long way. So they're going to measure for the first down, it's going to be very close. As they bring the chains in from the far side of the field. And they do a rule. It is the first down. First down for Spring Grove. Once again up front, they have Junior Clagsett, Tom Bauer, Bruce Crosby, Steve Hagen, and Tim Clausen up front. The tight end is Rich Lawn. The split end is Leighton Whiskey. Quarterback Todd Oak. The halfbacks are Gobronson and Pete Mapson. And up to the line they come is then Leighton Whiskey wide to the near side. Todd Oaks with a deuce backfield, long count on first down and 10. Option to the near side. Here comes Matson, and they string it out to play. The comedy is stringing out, the Cardinals string it out to the sideline. And Donnie Barrett rides Paul Goldwinson down for a short game. Once again, Donnie Barrett in on, in on the tackle. Goldwinson, the ball carrier, and can't spot the sideline markers. Minus five. He lost five on the carry, so it's second down and 15 yards to go. Ball at the, they call it the 17-yard line. Again, Deuce backfield. Oaks on the carry up to the 20-yard line, but that's about it. As Oaks picks up three, trying the right side of that defensive line. And I think Donnie Barrett was also in on the tackle. And he regained that five yards. And it's third down and 10 yards to go for the Spring Grove Lions at the 19-yard line. Whisted to the near side in the slot as Ardinger oaks back to pass, being right, pass out in the flat, and it's incomplete. Intended for Leighton Whisty out in the flat on the far side. So a third down passing situation, and the Lions come up short on an incomplete pass on Oaks' first pass of the ball game. It's fourth down at 10 yards to go, and they'll be forced to punt. Leighton West, he does the punting for the Spring Grove Lions. Back to receive for the Harmony Cardinals should be Dave Miller. 
It looks like Gary Prince is back at about his own 44-yard line. The Harmon is going for it. Uh, the rush is on. The bouncing the ball. The snap got back around the bounce. And Prison at the 50-yard line. And it's tripped up and brought down. Down under on the tackle was Pete Matson. So Gary Prince held it in at the 50-yard line. and got one yard as Pete Matson was down under the kick. And the Harmony Cardinals take over first down at 10 at the midfield stripe. Dave Miller, the quarterback. The backfield will have Dave Barrett and Donnie Barrett at wing back and tailback, and the fullback will be Brad Kraling. The split end will be Steve Harms, and the tight end will be Wayne Johnson. And they send Harms line to the far side. The deuce backfield in the slot is Donnie Barrett. A long signal count by Dave Miller. And off straight ahead. Here comes Gary Princeton. Princeton in the ball game instead of Dave Barrett. And he picks up three yards before he stops on the play by number by Rich Lund and also Dave Morgan in on the ta uh, tackles the middle and right side linebackers respectively pick up a two it's second down call it seven yards to go at the 47 this time harms to the near side Miller spins handoff here comes Prince to the near side 45 40 yard line and down to the 37 36 yard line but there's a flag back up field in on the stop was number 60, and that's Junior Flagstaff, and also number 45, and that was Tony Rostead, and also Ron Jerry. I think that's Ron Jerry. There is a, is a uh, couple of number changes. Uh, the, I think Harmony picked up the defense right away, Tom. They went to a six-man line. And the penalty goes against Harmony, and it's personal foul holding. So the first penalty of the ball game against the Cardinals set them back to their own 42-yard line. It's second down and close to 17 yards to go. Harms to the far side. Prinson and Crailing in the backfield. They're in the deuce. In the slot is Johnny Barrett. Dave Miller calls handoff Prinson to his 40-yard line up to the 45. Trip falls to the 49-yard line, his own 49. Pick up a seven on the play for the young sophomore tailback, Gary Princeton, 5'9", 180, and a sophomore. Uh, they picked up on, uh, on Spring Grove's defense. They're playing a six-man line. They got one linebacker, and they're just coming right, coming right off tackle on him this time. It is third down, and I can't see the yard markers again. There's a lot of people over on the far side. About 11. And it's 11 yards to go. I finally spotted. Arms to the near side. Again, that deuce backfield. Miller's. Calls back to pass on third and long. Good protection. It holds up. Pass downfield and for Harms. It's complete at the 23-yard line, and he's tackled right there by Todd Oak. So a 28-yard pass completion from Dave Miller to Steve Harms, and a first down for the Harmony Cardinals at the Spring Grove Lions 23-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Uh, they just split the they just split the side over there. Sent the wide receiver down the middle, and the other guy came out to the outside. And the guy's wide open. They gave him enough time. That was a big key right there. Plenty of time for Dave Miller on his first pass completion of the ball game, and he completes it. Arms again to the near side. In the slot is Donnie Barrett. Miller spins. Hand off. Here comes Crailing. 20-yard line. Inside the 20, down to about the 19, and then he's pushed back by a whole host of black-shirted Lions, led by number 66, Bruce Crosby, and also number 21, Rich Lund. They give him forward progress to about the 21-yard line. Let's call it a pickup of two for Brad Crailing. Second down, nine or er, seven yards, uh, eight yards to go for the Cardinals. Deep inside line territory. Miller, the quarterback, hands off again. Crailing to the far side, 20-yard line, 15, and then he's pushed out of bounds. But we've got a penalty flag in the backfield. Could be against Harmony. And the Cardinals are dropping back. Evidently motion or looks bigger than that even. Could yeah. be holding then. Yeah. They mark that back off from the original line of scrimmage, the 21. It is 15 yards, and that's probably holding in the backfield. That's their second penalty of the ball game for 30 yards. They managed to pick up a first down after that first penalty. That's what it is. It's holding against the Cardinals. Second penalty for a total of 30 yards. Oh, that's a pretty key right there, Tom. Second down about 20 yards. Keeps right there. So second down over again, but the ball is at the 36-yard line. 
Dave Miller, the quarterback, senior quarterback, senior backfield, handoff, prison to the 35, down to the 32-yard line, straight ahead power for that young sophomore. They say he got inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Pickup of seven yards for Gary Princeton on first or on second down. It's third down, but it's still a long ways to go. 16 yards to go. The original line of scrimmage was the 23. It's at the 29. Third down and 16 yards to go. Arms to the near side in the slot. Donnie Barrett. Miller fakes the handoff. Play action. Being rushed out of the pocket to the far side. Going to have to carry it himself. And he gets down to the 25-yard line, but that's all before he's forced out of bounds by the Lion defense, led by number 16, about the 25-yard line, uh, Junior Flagstaff, and also number 21, Rich Lund, as he's playing the linebacker on that right side. They did give Barrett about three yards on the pickup, but it's fourth down, and about 13 yards to go. Arms to the near side, they go with that same formation, Wayne Johnson tight on the far side. Deuce backfield of Princeton and Trailing. On the draw, here comes Trailing inside the 20, 15, and inside the 15 to the 12 yard line. That should be good enough for a first down. Excellent call. Todd Oak had to make the stop from his free safety spot. Beautiful draw play by Brad Trailing. Good enough for a first down. Their second of the ball game. Brad Trailing, a pickup of 14 yards on the play. Brad is a 5'8", 175-pound senior fullback for the Cardinals. First down and 10 for Harmony at the 12-yard line. Harms to the far side, the, the near side. Johnson's head on the far side. Miller, long count, draws Spring Grove offside. And let's see, it is encroachment or offside against the Lions, and they pick up their first penalty. Encroachment penalty against Spring Grove. Dave Miller, very heady quarterback, used that stuttered cadence at the line of scrimmage and pulled the interior line of the Lions offside. So that gets them five easy yards down to the seven, where it's first and five at the seven. They can't get a first down. They're up to the line of scrimmage. Don Bossy to center, up over the ball. Dave Miller spins, hand off Grilling to the far side, cuts it up inside, and he's pushed back. Did not even get back to the original line of scrimmage as they swung the play out and Todd Oaks came up from his free safety spot to make the stop along with Rich Lund. And they are two of the three captains on the Lions squad this year. And back to the line of scrimmage, the seven is second down at five yards to go. Same formation, harms the lone wide receiver to the near side. Miller looking over the defense. Falling signals on second down. Spins handoff. Prinzen five, three yard line, and that's all. Gary Prinzen four tough yards right up the middle, and Morton getting up off the bottom of the pile. Close to a first down, Benjamin, and also Bruce Crosby. Very close to a first down, as they say they're very near the two yard line, and they're bringing the chains in from the far side of the field to measure. If they make it, it's their third first down of this drive, and they are short. No, I would, I would uh, Doug see Harmony coming up with a play-action pass on this situation. They did against us in a crucial one in their second touchdown against us. They come in with a play-action pass on the back out of the backfield. With, their, with uh, Spring Grove's defense and a six-man line the way they are, they haven't got too much coverage of that man out of the backfield. Could, it'd be a good play here for them if they would try it. Okay, Miller up over the ball on third down and less than a yard. For the Harmony Cardinals, he hands off Crailing straight ahead to the goal line. He's in, touchdown. Brad Crailing, two yards, following the right side of that offensive line. Rick Hovey and Tony Schroeder just shooting out and pushing that defensive line back, and Crailing followed him up across the goal line. Touchdown for Harmony. With two minutes, 43 seconds left in the first quarter. And they're going to try to kick the extra point. Gary Princeton does the kicking, and Brad Grayling does the holding. They set it down. The kick is up, and it is good. Time out of the field. Two minutes, 43 seconds left in the first quarter. And poverty seven, and spring grove nothing. Back with a kickoff right after this. Tonight's game being brought to you by p &H Implement of Harmony. Taken by Oaks at his 15, 20, 25. Uh, straight up the middle to the 30, 40 yard line. And falls over his own man, Rick Lund, leading the interference. And he tipped over Rich at about the 42-yard line, came down on the 43, and that's where Spring Grove will take over first down and 10 yards to go. 
Well, we'll see what Spring Grove can do against the defense in good field position, Tom. Yeah, they started out in bad field position as Leighton Whiskey had some trouble with the opening kickoff, and they had to operate from inside their can. But now they've got operating position, and they send uh, number 86 Artinger to the near side. Whiskey to the far side. Juice backfield to Mastin and Go Bronson. And up straight ahead. That's Pete Mastin. Mastin up to the 46-yard line. Pick up three on the play. Mastin 5'8", 150, Anna Jr. That line up front has Clegg, Seth Bauer, Crosby, Hagen, and Clausen. Yeah, Harmony defense is starting to read that tackle. Uh, that's where they're going to be hurting a little bit is their size-wise there. They start reading that tackle real well. They're going to be have to be rely on their linebackers. Second and seven for the Lions at the 46-yard line. Oaks calling signals. And off straight ahead to Goldbronson, and he gets to the midfield stripe. Pick up of three more. It'll be third down and about four yards to go. Third down and two at the 50-yard line. And I did not see who was in on that stop. Harmony up front. They have Wayne Johnson down. Bussy, Rick Bremer, Rick Hobie, and Steve Harms. Trailing Crimson and Barrett are the linebackers, and they combine on the stop along with Wade Johnson. So it's third down, four yards to go. Oaks on a quick count. Quarterback keeper gets inside how many territory down to the 47, but he might be about a yard short. No, it's right on the six as they rule it at about the 47-yard line. It was third down and two. It is a first down. And that is the first first down of the ball game for the Lions as they are inside Cardinal territory. Let's call it the, oh, about the 47-yard line. That time Trailing and Kapusi were in on a tackle, but they didn't read quite as quick as they possibly could have. And they got the two yards. Oaks is a big boy. He really goes hard. And it was a quick snap, so they may not have been prepared for that. Hardinger to this side. Leighton Whistler to the far side. Oaks on balance line to the right side. Oaks, quick pass out of the backfield, and it's incomplete. Pass intended for Rich Lund coming out of that tight end spot. And it's second down at 10 yards to go. That kid was open. Um, and they, they'll, they'll try that again sometime. That pass was just behind him. And Harmony's defense was giving him that inside. You notice the linebackers are up real close. They're and look where their center field is. Yeah, yeah. Dave yeah. Miller standing about 15, 20 yards back. Yeah. Well, they're saying they'll give you 10 yards. They won't give you a touchdown. Hardinger to this side. Wait, late whist in the far side. It's second down to 10 yards to go. Oaks back to pass again. Good protection over the middle. Oh. Intercepted by Donnie Barrett. His 40, 45, 46-yard line, and that's where he's brought down. Donnie Barrett dropping back from his left linebacker spot, picked it off, ran it back to his 46, and the Cardinals take over first down and 10. Well, there's, a, there's a big turnover right there. This is where uh, Spring Grove could have been coming right down the field. It looked like they were going to take control, and then all of a sudden, uh, now that uh, Harmony's got the ball, they might go in. You never know what's going to happen now. Good field position on that turnover. The Cardinals in control, Harms on the near side. Dave Miller, the senior quarterback, has Princeton and Crailing in the backfield, in the deuce. Donnie Barrett in the slot to the near side. Wayne Johnson tight on the far side. Miller handoff, Crailing, 48-49 yard line. Two yards on straight ahead power. As he tried right guard and right tackle, Tom Bauer in on the stop for Crayley the Spring Grove Lions. Along with Craig Brenda. Both of them were in there, but the inside tackle. Yeah, they got about three, four yards on it. Good straight ahead power by Brad Creeling, the senior fullback. Pick up of two on the play, second down, let's call it eight yards to go. Just this side of the 50 yard line, and there goes the horn, ending the first period of play. So timeout on the field at the end of the first quarter with the score of Harvard seven and Spring Grove dumping. Back to the second quarter right after this. Spring Grove, Dave Miller on second down. Lost six yards on a passing attempt, it's third down. And about 14 yards to go for the Cardinals at their own 43 yard line. Dave Miller calling signals, same formation, rolling out to the far side, setting up the pass. The left-hander going to have to run it himself. Now passes it. He's got a man open. It's complete to Creeling inside Lion territory at the 41. But he could be short of the first down. Let's see where the sticks are. He does have the first down by about two yards. First down for the Cardinals at the Spring Grove Lion 41-yard line. Pass complete. So he came up to cover that quarterback, uh, Spring Grove's defense, and they left the guy open in the seat. 16 yard pass completion for Dave Miller, two for two in the ballgame. First down to fourth of the ballgame for the Cardinals. First Stop, down right again for Dave Miller and right. company. And off, clearly, far side, 40 yard line, 35, cuts it up, down to the 34, and then he's stacked up. Getting up off the bottom of the pile, Ken Sawley, along with Todd Oaks. They combine on the stop. Ken Sawley from his left corner spot, and Todd Oaks from the free safety. 
but Brad Kraling picked up about eight yards on the carry. They're attacking their ends awful, awful hard. I would say that uh, Spring Grove's going to have to adjust a little bit with that defense a little bit. So I they have a little bit right now. Second down and two yards to go. Strong side to the far side. Dave Miller hand off. Here comes Prinzen. Bust down to the 30-yard line inside the 30 to near the 29. Should be good enough for a first down. And it is first down for the Cardinals. Their fifth of the ball game as Gary Princeton picked up about five yards. First down 10 at the 28 is where they mark forward progress. Clayton Johnson in on the stop for the Lions. On first down, Harms to the near side, Donnie Barrett in the slot. Dave Miller calling signals for the Harmony Cardinals champions of the Maple Leaf Conference. He spins, oh. and off, here comes Princeton, just in the backfield. Number 21 and 51, Clayton Johnson, number 51, shot the gap and pulled it. Uh, that was trailing a Princeton down before it could get around the corner. A loss on the play of five yards. So it's second down and 15 yards to go. The Lion defense has made an adjustment. And the Cardinals have stalled at about the 28-yard line. Second down, 15 yards to go. From the 33, Dave Miller. This time, ball on the near hash mark. Wayne Johnson to this side. Play action pass. He's being rushed out of the pocket. And he's going to be dropped and sacked by a whole host of black-shirted Lions led by number 68, Craig Bender, and number 66, Bruce Crosby. And also getting up off the bottom of the pile, let's spot the number if Crosby will move. It is number 72, Todd Bowers. So gang tackling drops Dave Miller for another five-yard loss. It's third down and 20 yards to go now. At the, let's call it the 37-yard line. Let's call it 19 yards to go. Third and 19 from the 37. Arms to this side, to the near side. Miller back to pass on the draw. Crailing, they're looking for it, and he's going to get short gain. He's no gain. He's pushed back. Gang tackling again by the Lions. Rich Lund. Also number 51, Clayton Johnson. The linebacking through is stopping that draw. It's fourth down and 19 yards to go. No gain on the play. And the Cardinals might be forced to punt, but they are in... Lion territory, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to send Geronimo back to do the punting. Todd Oaks will be the long deep man, dropping back deep into his own territory at about the 10-yard line. Geronimo, the backup quarterback for the Cardinals, gets a good snap, rushes on, almost blocked. Short kick. Oaks is going to let it bounce at the five. They touch it down at the one, Ooh, and that's where it is. Nice the punch. Cardinals touch it down at the one-yard line, and the Lions get a bad break. they got to start at their own one-yard line. Down well, that was the key to that was in the uh, adjustment, though, is what Spring Grove made. They were in that 60, uh, 60 front. They had an even front, and then they dropped the end off and became a linebacker, and they were shooting the inside off that tackle. And they were worried about the, that outside position, I'm pretty sure. And they were just coming on the outside, and they were really going. Okay, Spring Grove is timeout. Uh, called a timeout. It's a timeout on the field with eight minutes and one second left in the second quarter, and Harmony out in front. Let's listen to these words. Tonight's game being brought to you by Spring Grove Feed Service, your Golden Sun feed dealer. Stop in and see the feed people today about the right Golden Sun feed ration to fit your needs. Congratulations to the Spring Grove Lions from Cleet and everyone at the Spring Grove Feed Service. And by Four Square Co-op Oil, the Spring Grove, your complete car care center. Stop in now and get your car ready for cold winter weather. See the Four Square Co-op today for all of your winter care needs. Congratulations to the Spring Grove Lions and the coaching staff from the Four Square Co-op Oil in Spring Grove. 25 minutes after 8 o'clock here at KFIL-FM Preston, Minnesota. Back to the game. Back at Spring Grove Athletic Field, the interconference playoff between the River Valley and the Maple Leaf. The Harmony Cardinals and the Spring Grove Lions, and the Cardinals are out in front by a score of 7 to nothing as they capitalized in that first quarter, and Brad Freeling took it over from the three-yard line and overcame a couple of bad 15-yard penalties in that drive to take it in. The Lions first down at 10 at their one-yard line. Backfield in the end zone, lining up. Oaks, handoff, he's going to carry it himself, and he gets struggles ahead to about the three or four yard line. He tried to play it safe and carried it himself. And Princeton in on the stop, the middle linebacker for the Harmony Cardinals. And Coach Klinkop was alternating flankers, bringing in the plays from the bench. And as Morgan goes in and Doug Ardinger goes out, Late Whiskey to this side, Morkin to the far side, Deuce backfield of Matson and Gobronson. Oaks 
on the delay, going to carry himself up to the five to the seven yard line before he's tripped up a short game. And again, Princeton getting up off the bottom of the pile. A young sophomore middle linebacker, a lot of uh, duties back there and responsibilities as a middle linebacker. And the ball is on the seven yard line. And it's third down and let's call it uh, about four yards, five yards to go. They have to get to about the 11 yard line. Oaks brings him up over the ball. Bruce Crosby in the center. Oaks rolling out. Going to pass on third down. Pass incomplete as intended for Rich Lent out in the near flat here. So Todd Oaks not having a good game passing. He's 0 for 3 in the passing department. Dave Miller, on the other hand, is 2 for 2, including a clutch 23 yard completion to Steve Harms to get him back downfield after a 15 yard penalty for holding. So it's fourth down, and the Lions are going to have to punt, and that'll bring in. Uh, they'll bring in Leighton Wusty. He does the punting. The lone receiver looks like Gary Prince, and it is the middle linebacker. They're Good coming. snap. Here comes the rush, and he gets the kickoff. Ooh, Good hit. Yeah, oh, over his head. Prince oh. the ball. It's bouncing around. Oh. There's a big pile, and Prince finally gets back on it. Well, that was close. Huh? Oh. Gary Prince couldn't find the handle on the ball. Finally picked it up at his own 46-yard line, and again, Pete Matson down under the punt. Good high booming kick, good hang time, and it was over Princeton's head, had some trouble handling it. But again, the Cardinals are going to start in good field position at their own 46, first down and 10 yards to go. The Cardinals with five first downs here in the first half to one for the Spring Grove Lions. Arms, the lone wide receiver to the far side, Wayne Johnson tight on the near side. Princeton and Crailing the backfield. Dave Miller, the quarterback. He heads off. Princeton far side, 50 yard line, 45. Cuts it up to the 40. And he had one man to beat, and he couldn't do it as he got down to the 37. And that was number 61 for Spring Grove. And I can't find his name on the original roster. That's Rick Lansom. Rick Lansom, the sophomore, in on the staff for Spring Grove. But not before Gary Princeton on the sweep to the far side picked up another first down for the Cardinals. As again, they're on the move after a, recovering that punt. Gary Princeton with some trouble. Hand off on the counter. Donnie Barrett out of his flat back spot. And he gains nothing as he was thrown well by number 72, Todd Bauer. The interior tackle on that Spring Grove defensive line. They play a 4-3-4. Four, four. Second down and 10 yards to go up to 38. Donnie Barrett coming out of that slot back spot on the counter. No game. Now, Harmon is really controlling the line of scrimmage now, though, Tom. They're really firing off the ball low and hard. Dave Miller on second and long. Long count, trying to draw him offside. And off Princeton has some trouble. Keeps it. Gets it inside. 35, 30 yard line. And then dropped by Todd Oaks at the 30. Along with number 68, Craig Bender. But Crimson picked up eight more yards down to the 30. And it's third down, and they call it two yards to go at the Spring Grove Lions 30-yard line, and the Cardinals are on the move again. Arms to the far side. Donnie Barrett again in that slot as they run that wing formation. Deuce backfield. Dave Miller looking over the defense. Sees a 4-3-4 again. Umbrella defense. And off straight ahead. Trailing first down. Very close to a first down. Before number 89, Ron Jerry. Dropped him. Ron Jerry coming up from his right corner spot to make the tackle. Number 89. He's 5'11", 170, and a senior. And it is good enough for a first down. Brad Crilly, a two-yard pickup. And another first down for the Cardinals. That should be their sixth of the ball game. And they start the clock. We have 439 left in the half, and the Cardinals on the front, 7 to nothing. Dave Miller at the controls. Don Bossy to center, flanked by John Brink and Rick Hovey, the guard. Miller's optioning to the far side, Ooh. rolling to the far side, cuts it up himself. He's got to the corner to the 2015 and pushed back at the 13 yard line. Dave Miller from the 28 down to the 13, about a 15 yard pickup for the senior quarterback as he ran that option to the far side. And that quarterback couldn't come up and commit. And that was the big mistake because he turned it on down the far sideline, down to the 13, another first down. They mark forward progress at the 12. First down and 10 for the Cardinals as they're knocking on the door again. This time they send Harms to this side, being covered by Ron Jerry. Free safety is Dodd Oaks looking over the defense, trying to read Dave Miller's eyes. 
And out here comes Squilling, and he's thrown wild at the 10-yard line and then pushed back, jumping up over the top was number 45, Dave Morgan, from his middle linebacker spot, along with Todd Bauer, to make the stop. And they may have gave Princeton about a yard gain, but that's all. Second down, very close to 10 yards. Let's call it no gain. Second and 10 from the 12. Miller again brings him up over the ball. Brian Johnson, Tony Schroeder are the tackles. And off here comes Clinton to the near side, 10 yard line, cuts it up to the 5, to the goal line, he's in, touchdown for Gary Princeton, just hard driving, carried two tacklers into the end zone, Gary Princeton 12 yards and a touchdown for the Harvard Cardinals, 318 left in the second quarter and the Cardinals go out in front by a score of 13 to nothing. And Princeton will attempt the extra point, Kenny. Well, they just ran out that defensive end, and the defensive end made a commitment to the inside, and they had good block on the outside. They juke him inside, went outside. Very good play. Very good play, Tom. Dave Miller to hold at the 10-yard line. Gary Princeton, after scoring that touchdown, is going to try the extra point. It's up. It's a little bit wide to the right. Is it good or not? And no good. They say it is wide to the right, so time out of the field. Three minutes, 18 seconds left in the half. Harmony out in front, 13 to nothing. Back with a kickoff right after this. And tonight's game is being brought to you by Western Hall Drive-In Restaurant of Spring Grove. Enjoy delicious home-cooked noon specials Sunday through Friday at the Western Home, or choose from a complete selection of short orders. Congratulations to the team and coach from everyone at the Western Hall Drive-In Restaurant in Spring Grove. Special Sunday through Friday at the Western Home, or choose from a complete selection of short orders. Congratulations to the team and coach from everyone at the Western Hall Drive-In Restaurant in Spring Grove. Also being... Okay, back with a kickoff. Okay, there we go. Got my microphone back on. And Gary Princeton, heavy duty man for the Cardinals, he's going to do the kicking off. He tried that extra point. It was no good. It's 13 nothing. Short, short kickoff kick. by Gary Princeton, one of the up men. Looks like number 51, that's Greg Wib uh, Wibke, and he's got some running room up to about the 44-yard line. Some some hard driving by one of the up men. Now, let's see who, was, who it was. 30, 30. It was 33 Pete Matson. Okay, it was Matson, uh, one of the up men in the wall. Brought it back to the 43-yard line where Spring Grove will take over first down and Taylor for once. They've got good field position, Ken. Yeah, they're going to have to take advantage now of, of uh, Harmony's defense in the, in the aspect of taking it inside the seam on uh, outside the linebackers and underneath the safeties there. They've given them a lot of room. It's just a matter of fact that they have to get the people there. That's the biggest key. And they send Leighton Wistie, one of the best yeah. receivers in the conference, to this side. He's looking Whoa. for Wistie and it's short. And we've got a line, a flag in the line. It could be holding. Todd Oaks this time did have plenty of time to throw, and uh, Whiskey was running a square out to this sideline, near the 45-yard line of Hominy, but it was incomplete, and that's what the preliminary signal is. It is holding against the interior line of the Spring Grove Lions, and that'll back him up 15 yards, and they have been really hurt by the penalty and the turnovers as uh, Todd Oaks was intercepted by Donnie Barrett. Down 25. Which led to one of the Harmony touchdowns. There's this official signal. It is holding against Spring Grove, so that backs him up 15 yards from the 48 to about the 33 yard line. Uh, let's see. No, they rule it at the 28 yard line. It was the 43 back to the 28. Okay, Oaks back to pass on Long, setting up over the middle. He's got a man open, and it's incomplete. Number 24, Dave Hanlon, coming up from his quarterback spot, and he hit with the just as the ball got there. Could have been interference. Close play both ways. And the pass incomplete to Leighton Wistie, and Todd Oaks is 0 for 5, and that is not normally his percentage. A good high percentage passer in the River Valley Conference. As you mentioned, he looked like he, uh, he was open. Yeah. But they, they have to find the seams. Right. They're, uh, well, Harmony plays a good defense this way. They get their linebackers back, but they got you know they got the speed to get there. Okay, receivers both ways. Deuce backfield. It is second down and a long ways to go. Oops. Quick pass oh. to the middle. Intercepted again by Harmony. It's number 80, Steve Harm. 25-yard line. Down to the 23 where he's tackled. Steve Harm dropping back, and Todd Oak has to make the stop. Second interception of the ball game for the Cardinals. Steve Harms dropping back and from his defensive end position. So they were evidently expecting pass, and he picked it off. It was a quick 
stop over the middle, and Harms just stepped up, picked it off, and ran it back about 10 yards. It doesn't look like uh, Oaks has got his motion too well. He uh, come back and he's trying to force it in there a little tougher. You know, Harmony defense, you got to play what they play. You know, they aren't going to give you too much. So the Cardinals on another break. Take over first down and 10 at the Spring Grove, 23-yard line. Dave Miller, the quarterback. On first down, he gives it to Princeton, near side. Trying to cut it up, they string it out. 25, 20-yard line, and steps out of bounds inside the 15 at about the 14-yard line. That's where they mark it, at the 14, from the 23 to the 14, a nine-yard pickup for Gary Princeton. Boy, I tell you, they're just blowing them off the mark over there. They're knocking people down. They're not even getting close to them. And not even the pursuit. They're blocking no. in on the defensive yep. ends, and the pursuit is just not there as Harmony is stringing it on to the sidelines, and Princeton is, and Frailing are both able to cut it up inside. Second and one yard to go. Miller has it down to play with. He spins. Here comes number 32. Oh, new running better. back in the backfield. And that is Dave Barrett in the ball game. Brother of Donnie Barrett. He's in the ball game as they gave Princeton a rest. But he was dragged down for a loss back to about the 18-yard line. About a four-yard loss. And how many calls timeouts? The timeout of the field. We're going to take this break and be back with more football. And tonight's game is being brought to you by Madsen Auto Truck Sales of Spring Grove. They're now your franchise dealer for the easy living van conversion, and they have on hand. Okay, after that last carry, Dave Barrett was dropped for a loss. And it's third down at about five yards to go. On the counter, here comes Donnie Barrett. This time down to the five, to the ten, and he's into the end zone. Got my heart mixed up there from the ten to the five, and in to the end zone. Donnie Barrett ran that counter out of his slot back position. And he went in from the 18-yard line. Oh, so, he, he did a heck of a job in that run time. He came over to the outside. He saw that tackle and made a cut to the left, and boom, he was hit. Right now. So Donnie nice Barrett, huh? That was a heck of a nice run. Really cut well. And they tried that earlier, and he was going well, so they made some adjustments on their ta uh, blocking assignments. And Donnie Barrett puts the Cardinals up in front by a score of 19 to nothing. And they're going to attempt this extra point, and this is not what I expected. Expected a very tight ball game. In fact, I, in conversations with people, I gave Spring Grove the edge. Well, a lot of people did, but you can't really do that. You know, in this type of situation, they're both 8-1. You can't really give anybody an edge. I would say if Harmony had anything over Spring Grove as far as uh, the whole team aspect was their team quickness, uh, that was that would give them the edge. But uh, Spring Grove had that great passing, had that great passing. They still come back right now. You know, it's still a minute 50. They can throw the ball a long way. Okay, we had a penalty. Uh, just before they're going to attempt this extra point, and what it is, I'm not sure. And they have not given an official signal, but they marked it off 15 yards against Harmony, and it's unsportsmanlike conduct Ooh. against Harmony. Whether they spiked the ball in the end zone or what it was, but they called unsportsmanlike conduct against the Cardinals, which is surprising because they scored the touchdown, but they have to try the extra point. The ball is on the 23-yard line. So I don't know what to call it. That's a 20-yard penalty. Well, they must have had a... And now they're going to move it back up five yards. Yeah, That's right. better. Yeah, That's better. Go. Yeah, 15-yard penalty. I never heard of a 20-yard one. <laughs> <laughs> you never know sometimes. <laughs> okay, the, the, from this far out, I'm sure Gary Princeton is kind of inaccurate, so they're going to go for it. So they're going to try it from the 18-yard line. This is the extra point attempt, and Miller's going to pass for it, rolling out to the far side, setting up the left-hander. Swings it into the end zone, and it's up in the air, it's no good. And so the pass incomplete on the extra point. Timeout on the field, a minute 50 left in the first half. And Harmony out of front by a score of 19 to nothing. Back with the kickoff right after this. Tonight's game being brought to you by Northern Engraving of Spring Grove. They are still taking up. And we prematurely gave them a first down. Looks like from here that it was, as it is down right in front of us. They stretch the chains, and they, it is good. It is by at least a half a yard. So first down for the Spring Grove Lions. And the pass completion, the first of the ball game for Todd Oaks, and it was to Leighton Westy on a square on to this side, near side. The Lions are on their own 43. They have yet to get into Cardinal territory. As they have started from their 10 and from their 1-yard line on a couple of their drives, Oaks has been intercepted twice here in the first half. And that is unlike that excellent senior quarterback. He's 6'4", 195, definitely major college material. Back to pass, rolling to the near side, setting up, going to run it himself. Penalty in the backfield, 45, 46-yard line. And that's all. Putting the stop on, it was number 24. That's Dave Hanlon, 
coming up from his quarterback spot as Oaks had to run it. And there was a flag way back in the backfield. And that might be clipping or holding. Yep. As they're talking it over with uh, Donnie Barrett. Or correction, Brad Creeling, captain of that defensive unit for the Cardinals. And they accept the penalty. And that'll be from the original line of scrimmage of 43. Or from the spot of the foul, evidently. From the uh, spot of the foul from the 36. Back to the 20. From the 35 to the 20. And was holding. So they called it from the spot of the foul. They marked it off from the spot of the foul. And 15 yards against the Lions. It's first down now, but a long ways to go. About 32 yards. Leighton West to this side, Ardinger to the far side, Oaks back to pass. Downfield, got a man open run. Eddie, he drops the ball. It hit him right in the numbers, and it was a little bit behind him. In fairness to Rich Lund, excellent tight end. A little bit behind him, but he dropped the ball. The man fell down on the play. That was number 80, Steve Harms. And he would have had a pass completion at about the 40-yard line. But it did complete second down and 32 yards to go. Let's call maybe 33 yards to go. Spring Grove Lions under head coach Clay Koppel. Rick Van Roko is his assistant. Dale Elson, the head man at Harmony. Oaks back to pass, rolling to the far side. Pass, incomplete, intended for Rick Lund. And a penalty. And it's defensive interference. There's a break for the Lions. And it's against Dave Hanlon. As it is, defensive interference against Dave Hanlon, 5'9", 145 senior, the quarterback for the Cardinals. And that'll be 15 yards back to the 40-yard line, but they're still short of a first down by about uh, 13 yards. They're not picking up the uh, starting linebacker, the Princess from Harmony, very well at all. They don't see him coming. I guess uh, he's putting a lot of pressure on Oaks. And he's forcing him out of the pocket. Oh, oh. And throwing on the run, even for a caliber of quarterback like he is, is really tough. Oh, the shotgun. And they're going to go out of the shotgun. Ardinger and Whiskey to this side. Two receivers on this side. And they go to the other side. Run! And oh, oh it's incomplete. As Dave Barrett went for the interception, he missed. And that was Pete Matson's correction. Pass was intended for Matson. Barrett went for the interception, missed, and maybe have blocked the view of Pete Matson because he was open and he would have had a first down and maybe a touchdown as he had gotten behind his defender. So the Lions just missed again. And it's, let's see, where's the down marker? There it is. It's second down and about 11 yards to go, I think, trying to spot the men on the sideline. As Oaks is back to pass again over the middle and it's incomplete. No flags called. As it looked like there might be interference, Gary Princeton depending on the play along with Steve Harms and Dave Hanlon. They say they got there just as the ball did. The pass fell incomplete. And it's third down. As they did get an automatic, oh that's right, they did get an automatic yeah. first down in that off, uh, defensive interference. That's why I was a little uh, mixed up on the... They only had a Army, situation. Army only had a three-man rush that time, Tom, and they uh, they got everybody coming back, so they're going to have to hit the outside areas in here because they got too many people on the inside. But you know, just nine seconds left on the clock because they come up over the ball. Oaks back to pass, good protection. He puts it up for Whiskey, and there's a penalty. It's against Harmony, the defensive interference, as they both went up for the ball, and they ruled it. Dave Hamlin pushed off. Kind of obvious. But the half cannot end on a penalty. That's right. Well, we got four seconds left yet. And I'm sure Dell's going to tell those people to get away from those guys and just knock the ball down. That's one of the things. That's why you do that, Tom, is throw the ball up in the air and let hope that people are going to try and tackle our men. you got to get one man isolated on an outside cornerback or a safety and hope they can start knocking people down and then you know, the ball is coming. But it's a tough situation when you're facing uh, four seconds left and you got to get into the end zone from the 50 yard line. Well, and Whiskey had about a four or five inch height advantage yeah. on Hanlon, so it was kind of a jump ball and they hoped Whiskey was going to come down with it. Sure. So first down at the 50 yard line. Oaks back to pass. Last play of the half. Oh, that's a nice Good pass. pass. Down about the 10. It's complete to the 5 yard line. Oh, and he's down at the 5. And the horn sounded. And who caught that pass? The horn sounded as the pass was complete down to the five-yard line. And that's the end of the half. Getting up is Rich Lund. 
No, that's Clayton Whiskey. I think that's 81 and not 21. Five yard line, huh? It was down to the five yard line, that 45 yard pass completion. That is Leighton Whiskey, number 81. So a 45 yard pass completion ends the half. They are five yards short. So the horn sounds with the score, Harmony 19 and Spring Grove nothing back with the scoring wrap up of the first half right after these words. Tonight's game being brought to you by a and Snowmobile of Harmony. If you want a snowmobile that will give you a fighting chance with fuel and economy, a and and Harmony can show you a champ, the Articad Jag. The Articad Jag offers a reasonable balance of speed, power, weight, handling, and price, and will give you plenty of run for your money. Congratulations to the Harmony Cardinals for a job well done from a and Snowmobile. <laughs> Want to bring O.J. Simpson and Jim Carter home with you? It's easy and it's free. They're two of the players on Wholesome's NFL football players cards. And you'll find your free cards inside specially marked loads of Wholesome Soft Twist. Oak comes forward, short kickoff, and is fielded at the 20-yard line by one of the up men up to the 30, 35-yard line, and dropped at the 37. And so that's where Harmony will take over first down and 10 yards to go. And I did not see who was the carrier on that. Okay, so Harmony takes over first down at 10 at their own 37. Dave Miller remains the quarterback. Tailbacks are Donnie Barrett and Dave Barrett or Gary Prinson. Let's see who they start. Looks like uh, number 40, Brad Trilling and Gary Prinson to start the second half. Prinson, the sophomore. And the ends are Steve Harms and Wayne Johnson. Don Barrett runs out of that uh, slot back spot. On first down, handoff curling straight ahead. Two or three yards up to about the 40-yard line. But there's motion in the backfield as the flags fly. I see uh, uh, Spring Grove went to a different defense right away. They went to a 43. They took that, uh, put the defensive linebacker up on the, off, on the offside line against the weak side. And is, that, the, is that going to give them a little bit more pursuit? Well, that's one of the things that's going to make a difference. And then the plus the fact that they're going to get a stunt off that outside linebacker. We use them as a uh, defensive end almost. Okay, it is illegal motion against Harmony. First down all over again, about 15 yards to go. From the 32-yard line instead of the 37, Harms to this side, Wayne Johnson tight on the far side, and the handoff prison straight ahead, nothing, maybe a yard, but that's all. Rich Run in on the stop, along with Clayton Johnson. He did pick up two yards, two tough yards to Gary Princeton. And it's 13 yards to go on second down. As he got back to about the 34-yard line, and this, see, Harms comes to this side. Oh, we got a new wide receiver in there. It's number 86. That's Mark Applin. Applin now in at wide receiver. As Miller back to pass. With the left hander rolling out of the pocket. Big rush. Pass downfield. He's got a man open and he drops the ball. And that looks like Wayne Johnson who dropped the ball at about his own 47-yard line. And that's who it is. They had a good rush that time, Tom. Yeah, they did force him out of the pocket quick. And with a four-man line, they must have had a linebacker shooting. Oh, yeah. Well, then they also forced him to the right side. He's left-handed. It's tough to throw from that side. Yeah, you got to throw off the wrong foot, yeah. and you just can't get any, any accuracy on it. He got right. the ball there, but the receiver was open, but he just dropped it. So it's third down and 13 yards to go. And Harvard's back in to the ball game at wide receivers. Went to the near side. On third down, Miller back to pass, rolling to this side this time. Being rushed again, can't get the pass off, but have to throw it, and it's, oh, it's almost intercepted by number 89, that's Ron Jerry, as he stepped in front of the wide intended receiver, and that was Donnie Barrett, as Miller threw it at the last moment just before he was hit, and that may have thrown the direction of the ball just off a little bit, and almost an interception, I don't know if Jerry would have been in bounds when he caught it, it was right near the sideline. He'd have, he'd have been inside if he'd have had it. But good defense for the Lions. The Cardinals are forced to kick. Geralimo back to punt, back to receive. We have Todd Oaks and Leighton Whiskey. Geralimo, low line drive kick. Oaks, set is 33. Uh -oh. Near side, 35. Got an opening, 40, 43 yard line. And the Lions started good operating position. 
And this first drive is all important, kind of sets the tempo for the second half for the Lions, now down 19 nothing. Are oh, you back? They're going to have to take the time, though. They're going to have to not panic and get down the field in a in an orderly uh, drive and make, uh, make armies take, uh, sit up and take notice about what they're capable of doing. Okay, Oaks is that quarterback. Gobronson and Matson will start in the backfield. Leighton West is one wide receiver. Hardinger, uh, correction, uh, Dave Markin to the far side. And the tight end is Rich Lawn, tight to the near side. Deuce backfield, Oaks on first down. On oh. the option, handoff outside. Here comes number 21, Rich Lawn. And he's first out of bounds inside Cardinal territory at the 42. Correction, Gobronson, number 22, not 21. And they ran that option very well. Oaks led the defense. And Gobronson picked up a first down on the first play of the second half for the Lions. First down and 10 at the Cardinal 43-yard line. From their own 43 to the Cardinal 43, pick up a 14-yard. Oaks on first down, west to the this side. Arding on the far side, pitch back, open to the far side, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and inside the 20 near the 19-yard line. And the Lions are starting to come back. They've got a long way to go, but 22 yards on first down. After a 14-yard pickup, don't hurt the morale any. Is that Goldenson again? That was Pete Goldenson again. They say you ran out of bounds at the 24-yard line on the far sideline. Good enough for a first down. Two plays, two first downs. First and 10 for the Lions at the Cardinal 24-yard line. Deuce backfield again for Todd Oaks. Option. Hand off straight ahead. And a Goldenson inside the 20 and down to the 18 to the 17-yard line. Seven more yards for Pete Goldenson. 5'7", 155, the senior. No, he's a junior, halfback. Now they're just taking control of that offensive line. They're reading that tackle off the well, Tom. And that's where they're getting the yards. That's what they have to do. Clay must have done quite a talk job in that locker room at halftime. And we've got whistles, and it looks like we've got an official timeout. No, Harmony decides yeah. to call timeout to talk about things. So timeout on the field, 9.19 left in the third quarter. Back with more football right after this. Tonight's game being brought to you by Harmony Cold Storage. Keep your freezer filled with one half and quarter size of beef this winter from Harmony Cold Storage. Also, you are assured of fast and dependable service when you take your own beef report to the Harmony Cold Storage. Congratulations to the Harmony Cardinals and their coaching staff for a job well done from Harmony Cold Storage. By Harmony House Restaurant, for the best in dining pleasure, treat your family to a night out at the Harmony House Restaurant. Choose from their varied menu or enjoy a daily noon special. Congratulations to the Harmony Cardinals from everyone at Harmony House Restaurant. And by Kelly's Grocery of Harmony, there's no need to choose between quality and economy. You get both at Kelly's Grocery. They feature only the finest, first quality merchandise at everyday low prices, along with an offering of weekly specials. Congratulations to the Harmony Cardinals from Kelly's Grocery of Harmony. 60 minutes after 9 o'clock, back to the game. Okay, Oaks wide receivers are again working in. Leighton Westy, and we have a handoff straight up the middle, and this time the Cardinals are the ones that made the adjustment, and they stopped the play for an old game. That was Pete Matson, as they gave Matson a chance to carry the ball, and he went from the 18 down to near the 17-yard line to the 16-yard line. They have to get to the 14 for a first down. There's a key play right here, Tom. If they can get this first down, one of these key plays, they're going to go back in the ball game, I think. Third down and two yards to go from the 16-yard line of the Cardinals. Oaks up over the ball. He calls signals. Handoff straight ahead. It's Robinson inside the 15 to the 14 to maybe the 13-yard line. Very close to a first down. Let's see where they spot forward progress. Kyle Grobenson again, the ball carrier. It is a first down, the third one on this drive of the second half for the Spring Grove Lions. Walking back into the ball game and Ardinger back to the bench as the relay plays from Coach Clay Koppel. First down and 10 for the Lions at the 13-yard line. And the Lions, after getting a punter on the move, trying to get back into this ball game, whisked into this side. Morkin to the far side. Deuce backfield. Oak spins. Hand off. Pick back, here comes Matson. He's going to be caught at the 15 and down to the 14 yard line. As Pete Matson got the pitch out from Todd Oaks, trying to sweep the near side and got back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's all. As, as Harvey swung that play out very well. Yeah, uh, Dell always plays an uh, option with a defensive end hitting the quarterback, but I see he's not doing that this time. He's playing that uh, linebacker is going to come take the pitch, man. The defensive, uh, defensive end is also playing soft on him. I don't know if that's the way to go or not. Okay, it's second down and 10 yards to go from the 14. Ball on the near hash mark. Oaks uh, going to keep it himself. Cuts it up to the 10-yard line and down to the 9 to the maybe the 8-yard line. 
as Todd Oak, on that option, carried himself, picked up about six yards, but they, they mark it at the eight-yard line, third down and five yards to go. They have to get to the three for a first down. They're at the eight, and it's third down, and another crucial down for the Lions. And they come up with the ball. Bruce Crosby, the quarterback, or the center, Todd Bauer, flanked by, or Todd Bauer and Steve Hagan are the guards. Oaks calling signal on third down, rolling to this side. They shoot the gap, and he's going to be caught in the backfield and drop. And that must have been a safety blitz. Let's see if it is oh, Dave Miller. That was Princeton. That was Gary Princeton, the middle linebacker. He shot the gap, and Oaks didn't even time, have time to turn around as they dropped him. Back to the 21-yard line, about a 13-yard loss on the play. And it's fourth down and 20 yards to go. That was a mix-up in there, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure they knew that they were going to stump, but somebody didn't pick him up, Tom. Good play by Princeton. Evidently one, he's trailing back, probably Matson, I, yeah. and I hate to put the onus on him. Yeah, but Matson, he was the back on that far side. Probably should have picked up the stunt. Oaks back to pass on fourth down, has to pull it down. Going to have to run it. He's to the 15, and then he's swarmed under by the white-shirted Cardinals at the 15, and that's all. And so on down, the Cardinals are going to take over, so they did stiffen, and that defense finally adjusted. Oh, yeah, they, uh, you know, they get, the, uh, you get, you get rid of uh, those, get down close to the goal line. You, you don't have that much area to work with. Uh, that's, uh, it's a nice defense when you can do it that way. It's a stunt like that. If they had a pass play where that linebacker was, boom, touchdown. Yeah, right. Take a key right there. If he could have read the blitz. Yeah. yeah, right. But they disguised it well. First down and 10 for the Cardinals. Near the 15-yard line at the 16. Same formation, that wing formation. Trailing handoff, 20-yard line, 21-yard line. Trailing a pickup of five as he tried the far side. And the Cardinals pick up five yards on first down and second down and five yards to go. Cardinals out of front 19 to nothing with five minutes, 35 seconds left on the clock here in the third quarter. The final football game of the week here on KFIL. Your truly Tom Witchin. And my thanks to guest Ken Jacobson for doing the color tonight and doing a super job. Arms to this side. Donnie Barrett in the slot. Miller operating with a deuce backfield of Grayling and Gary Princeton. He spins. And he gives it to Gary Princeton, and Princeton is going to be sacked up and pushed back. And Bruce Crosby and Ron Jerry in on the stops as Gary Princeton tries the near side this time. Identical play, but to the opposite side. And this time they read it well and forced him back. And it's third down now and close to oh. 10 yards to go. About eight yards to go, let's call it. Third down and eight yards to go from the 14-yard line. Dave Miller spins, handoff, Princeton, 15-yard line, and ahead to the 18, but he's going to be way short of a first down marker. Princeton tackled by Lund. As he talked, tackled by Rich Lund on the play. They went to an odd man line that time. That's the first move I've seen him do that. They went to an odd man front. And they, Spring uh, Grove. Spring Grove did, yes. Pretty good move they got to the that's, people to the uh, top player. That's not head up on, on your opponent, right? That's head up on your center. You put a man on your center and you put the linebackers on the gap. Okay. In my football terminology, right? Geronimo back the pass. Oh, the brush was on. He got a good kick off Jeez. over Oaks' head. Good roll. Back to his own 24 yard line and he has to fall on it. Down to the 25 yard line. got the kick off under a lot of pressure and drove it over Oaks' head on the line drive. He had to go back to pick it up at his own 24-yard line. A 50-yard punt. Is that right? Yeah. That's what punt. And under pressure, they had four guys that got through. Now, they've been getting close to that punter. I'm surprised they haven't been uh, haven't got to one yet. Uh, we got close to their punter, too, a couple times. Just but they did drop two men back, so yeah. they probably should have just had one if they were intentionally yeah. trying to block that kick. So first down and 10 for the Lions at their 25-yard line. Whisked to this side. It looks like Ardinger to the far side. Pitch back, here comes Goblat to 25, 30, 32, 33 yard line. And then he's rolled out of bounds. Eight yard pickup for Pete Gobronson. And Dave Barrett coming up from his quarterback spot to make the stop for the Harvard Cardinals. 
That defense for Harmony has Wayne Johnson, Don Barkey, Rick Bremer, Rick Hovey, and Steve Harms up front. The linebackers, Brad Freeling, Gary Princeton, and Donnie Barrett. And the deep safeties are Dave Barrett and Dave Hamlin on the corners, and Dave Miller is the safety. It's second down, two yards to go. Oaks with a down to work with. But the second half is steadily progressing. Handoff. Let's see who has it. Oaks, I guess, keeps it. And he crashes ahead to near the 40-yard line. Down the 39-yard line. Near the 39. First down. It is good enough for a first down. And a pickup of six yards for Todd Oaks. Good enough for another first down for the Lions. And they're at their own 39-yard line. I don't know, Spring Grove's offensive line is starting to take control a little bit. Maybe we can get a score on it here. They controlled it, controlled it very well on that first drive. Yeah. They just ran out of gas near the 15-yard line. But it's first down and 10. Oaks, again, the option straight ahead. Here comes Phil Bronson to the 45 and out to the 48-yard line. From the 39 to the 48, could be very close to a first down. Let's see where they mark forward progress. And they lined it up across with the six across the field on the far side. Second down. And they rule it is second down. They're short by about a half a yard. But again, that first down, an important down, and they're getting big yardage on first down. So they are not forced to pass on second and long. They come up over the ball, Bruce Crosby, the center. Wistie this side, Harding into the far side, pass over the middle, it's complete to Wistie at the 45-yard line and dropped by number 44. And that is Donnie Barrett, but it's good enough for a first down. Pass right over the middle as Wistie from his split end spot just cut straight over the middle. And he was open for a first down. And as you mentioned, they just have to take it in little chunks at a time, and that's what they're doing right now. Right, they have to do it that way, otherwise you're going to get in a lot of trouble if you're going to try to go deep all the time against them. They got, the de they got the defensive safety back a mile and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Playing center field like Paul Krauss. <laughs> More like Lenny Green or yeah. Danny Ford back there. First down and 10. Over the Lions. Now in Cardinal territory. Oh, oh. Tried to run that option. And a beautiful play by number 70. And I lost my program. I admit it fell out of the booth. And I tried it. I think I just cut off my cough switch. Number 70 on the play, no, and that is Tim Quasson. No, that's, uh, no, number 70. Yeah, for Spring Grove, or for Harmony, excuse me, I don't have the Harmony lineup. My program took a, took a leap. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, Tony Schrader. Yeah. Tony Schrader in on the stop, and we have a player down on the play, and it is a Spring Grove Lion, and I can't see the number. It is number 7. Oaks. It is Todd Oaks, and it is his leg as Clay Cox was working on it. As he ran that option himself, and Tony Schrader shot the gap and pulled him down before he could even think yeah. about an option. Harmony went to their, uh, they started moving their tackles around a little bit from inside to outside, making them choose as to what, uh, uh, what how they're going to block them. And this time they, uh, they went to the outside, and uh, the left tackle went to the outside, and they came right in on the quarterback. I don't think he's here too bad, though. He's coming off the field, but that's going to mean...